Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, skies have partially cleared out the temperature going down and not up and the wind speeds going up as well. Colder air settling in. We take a look outside in downtown Providence. Visibility has uh, improved uh, quite a bit after uh, several hours, two, three hours worth of rain that came through. Uh, drier air now moving in and the temperatures dropping off as well. So we take it in North Situate. This is the intersection of 101 and 102 where the temperature is 34 degrees. Now the roads are damp, but this increasing wind is good. You can see the flat right in here that says pizza on it. Uh, what that'll do is help to ventilate and dry out the roads, but you know, before the temperatures fall below freezing, it'll be a close call between, you know, how much ventilation and drying out we can do with the roads as far as when the temperatures drop below freezing. There could or be a very small chance some icy spots in the northwest part of the state. We'll keep you updated. So notice Smithfield down at 33, already below freezing in Coventry, Providence 35 and upper 30s across New Bedford. So clearing tonight with increasing wind, we are much colder both Thursday and Friday. Friday. We're talking about wind chills tomorrow in the 20s. Now there's less wind for Friday, but it's still a cold day and it's sunny as well. Still looking at a rainstorm for the weekend, but it's centered on Saturday only. We're seeing signs now that it will dry out on Sunday, windy and cooler. So right now the soaking rain is scheduled for Saturday. In the meantime, strong cold front that came through a little while ago is moving offshore behind it. The wind picking up. You see snow squalls in upstate New York and that colder air that'll be rushing in over the next couple of days when we take this into the future front continues offshore increasing wind cold and blustery but sunny for tomorrow temperature struggling to get to 40 clear very cold tomorrow night the sunrise temperature on friday morning only 23 degrees, but there's less wind on Friday and we have sunshine, so it's a quiet day. If you're heading out Friday night, no weather problems, but notice an intensifying storm coming up the coastline on Saturday. This is a widespread rain, heavy at times. The potential is there for one to three inches with this system, and then things dry out on Sunday. All right, let's backtrack to tomorrow afternoon, three o'clock. This is the best we can do for the temperatures, only in the upper 30s. You tack on the wind gusts, which at times these numbers represent gusts and miles per hour, 35 mile per hour gusts. The wind chills are in the 20s. So the forecast is pretty straightforward for tomorrow. Bright sunshine, very windy, unseasonably cold for this time of year. Temperature may briefly get to 40. That's the best we can do. I mean, the average high for this time of year is close to 50, so we're about 10 degrees below average. All right, small craft advisory for the bay, but boaters, there's a gale warning offshore, west, northwest, 15 to 20, gusting to 30 knots at times. All right, seven day forecast less wind but cold on Friday with sunshine. There's your rainstorm for Saturday. It's one of those deals where we have to watch the rivers and streams once again. Windy dry on Sunday, a mix of clouds and sun cool and a temperature at 45. Early spring in New England. That's the roller coaster ride we sometimes take. We'll take it now and then, you know, when summer comes, we'll be at the beach. There every you weekend. go. How's that? <laughs> I like that plan. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Anthony. Coming up next.